back home for emancipation. Come back home for emancipation. Now is the time to come back home for emancipation and once again experience the energy of our people celebrating freedom, a hard-won freedom from the grips of chattel slavery 184 years ago. Freedom out of the oppressor's hate and into the love of self, community and nation. Meet up with old friends and make some new ones from the opening of the Emancipation Village to the closing on the evening of August 1st. Be enwrapped with positive vibes, excitement, entertainment and education in a safe and transformed environment. Taste the traditional foods we used to make and those that just come in all the tradition of our African ancestors. Let the children participate in the youth activities of drumming, dance, stilt walking, and storytelling. They will have experiences that cannot be forgotten. Shop at the largest African market in the Caribbean for the best in clothing, jewelry, and craft, locally produced and from our sisters and brothers of the African continent. Enjoy the pan, kaiso, jazz, drumming, song, and dance at the village shows. It's a family affair. For those who are business-minded, join us at the Hilton for the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Symposium as we reinvent the triangle. Make the memory of a lifetime as you participate in the Kambule Street Procession. We meet early on Emancipation morning in front of the Treasury Building on the Brian Lara Promenade and the site of the reading of the Emancipation Proclamation. And now, the Emancipation Monument, arise. Then off to the Lej Yasu Umawali Emancipation Village at the Queen's Park Savannah. It's a walk you will remember. As the sun sets over the village, cherish the closing flambeau procession from the village to the All Stars Panyard. Think you know your country? Sign up for our heritage tours. They will blow your mind. For details, reach out to us. Let Caribbean Airlines bring you home. You can be sure you'll be treated like family. Come, Come home, home now. All right, Trinidad and Tobago, we are back. You would have seen a beautiful introduction that was given of what they have in store for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. I would love and, you know, I feel so... She came in with such positive energy. I felt the vibration. She's a sweet cake. Um, I would like to introduce you to Mrs. Zakia Uza Uz Uzoma Wadada. The, one of the executive chair persons for the Emancipation Support yes. Committee. Welcome to the Street 919 FM. You are home. Yes, you, you, so yes, you are yes. home with us. Yes. Um, you know, where we were talk, chit, chit, talking a little bit before. on before, yes. on, you know, the past, the, the, the types of villages they had before, yes. and um, what you all have now yes. in 2023. Yes. Which after we had a pandemic, that's right. You know, everybody was wearing masks last year. Last yes. year I was present. Yes. It was beautiful. Yes. And as I told you before, my favorite part is the flambeau yes. procession. Yes. That is my definitely my favorite part. Yes. You know, yes. given the history. But you know, later on in the week we will get more, more um, insight on that. Yes. Tell us, tell the, the listeners and the viewers what 
is Mrs. Wadada's <laughs> status. What, yes. what, what is her status on the Emancipation yes. Support so Council? I'm the executive chair of the organization. I'm the, the chairperson, yes, but because I am a working chair, in mm. the sense that I, know I am also employed with the organization, I work every day and sort of. So I used to be the executive director. So it's, it's the executive chair is a sort of executive director slash chair position. Right. Yeah. So it means that, you know, I, my, I have full responsibility with, along with our board because we do have a board of directors right. and my, our staff and the secretariat, we are the ones who actually engineer and do the Pan-African Festival TT, commemorating emancipation every year as part of one of the major activities of the organization. It's not the only major activity, but it is the major, the yes. main one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Um, so, I like how you asked about the village because this year we uh, we do have a new village, a new look of our village. We have uh, partnered with Rickel Services to really give people a, a different look, yes. a more modern look to the village. And our entrepreneurs are now in the process of receiving their boots, and they're all very delighted with the you know the new look. So we really want everyone to come to the village, of course, to enjoy the new ambience that we are creating. Some of it will be familiar to you because we still have our educational books. Right. And we have our, um, our obelisks with the, with the information. We are actually going to do a special obelisk in tribute to the Ashanti Kingdom as we expect right. the visit of... His Majesty Otufu Osei Tutu II, who is the Asante Hene, or the King of the Ashanti Kingdom. So it's very interesting. We also have, we're going to have a lot of representation of the deities of Egypt in the village. Beautiful. I think we had them a few years ago and everyone was so excited. And you know, it is very strange too because at the last time when we had them, it also coincided with a visit of one of the heads of states of Africa. And this year it is now coinciding with the visit of the Asante Hini. So the village is going to be a space where you can come, relax, enjoy, learn, Yes. And also find activities for your children. Yes. Um, uh, you know, tell us more. What, what activities? Because I, I saw when I went on your Facebook page yes. to see which one I wanted to attend. <laughs> I love the youth night. Yes. I yes. always attend youth night. Yes. Um, I like the, they have pan night as well. That's right. So, yes. um, tell us what more. Happens? What, what, what are, what are the activities? Are there, are, are you going to add on more to this okay. year? So this last year, as we were just coming out of the pandemic and, you know, the funding was, you know, people were now beginning to, you know, get back on the foot we just had four days. This year, the village will be open for five and a half days. We, give, we have given the entrepreneurs a lanyard on August 2nd for right. all who want to do last minute shopping. It's just that they will just be for shopping. But we open on the, on Friday okay. at 10 a.m. The formal opening will be done by the Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts. And following the opening, we do a tour of the village. Right. After that, we would have Every day at 3 o'clock, we have a session we call Rhythm and Voices of Africa. Right. And that's when you have our drummers and our dancers and our chanteurs, you know, all of our community groups and who actually have cultural groups as mm -hmm. they get their opportunity. And on Friday night, we're doing Shikamu Lord Relator. And, you know, we have over the years, Shikamu is really tribute to our elders. Right. That's what the word means. And every year we have been doing... Shikamu's <laughs> to different um, of our elders. So we've done for Stalin, we've done for Ella Andel, we have done for Brother Valentino. So we have, last year we did David Rudder actually. So who, who, who we have? So this, this year is Lord Relator. Beautiful. Yes, you know, and uh, so we are lucky that he is going to be present. He's not performing, but he will be there as we pay tribute to him and give him his gift and his, and his award. And we are, that is going to be a great show. Because we have a lot of our top Calypsonians, particularly the, the young ones. Helon Francis will be there. Our current Calypso King is going to be there. Stacey Sobers, former Calypso Queen. So we have, and you know, and Marvin Newton and her group, they're going to be there. So it's going to be a really exciting show. Lady Adana is also on the cast. 
And then from, he, I said Helon Francis yes, as well. Francis. Yes, yes. Sorry if I missed anybody. <laughs> and then on Saturday, we have, of course, our Rhythm and Voices at 3 p.m. Actually, on the afternoon of Saturday at 1.45, we will be launching a book by Trevor Millet. Trevor Millet is one of our um, scholars, and he has written a book about the... Uh, achievements of black business right you know we tend to think that you know we don't do well in business so he's highlighting first in this book that he has written persons who have succeeded in 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 business even as african persons and perhaps what are some of the lessons that we can learn from them so that book would that that book will be launched at 145 in the vip room and then at 3 30 we go back to our rhythm and voices mm -hmm. and at five at six o'clock we are sadly, you know, doing a Rapso concert to remember Mark Nottingham. Yes, Mark, yes. You know, that was one of the painful experiences we would have had for the year. And it is so ironic because last year, Mark was one of the leading performers doing the tribute for Brother Resistance. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a sad time, but we have to remember him. So we yes. have the other mem two of the other members of Black Lyrics would be there because, you know, that was his yes. band. We have Omari Ashby, you know, we have a lot of the uh, Rapso artists who had been associated with him. They will all be performing. Sister Ava, you know, and so on, will be performing over, you know, I'm trying to remember everybody, Ringo, yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Ringo, but, you know, quite a bit. All, the, the, the fraternity, they yeah. will be there to pay tribute to him. Um, then, following that, we have our Unity Reggae concert. And nice. what we are looking forward to is Marlon Asher's performance. We've mm. got Marlon, who has not really performed at home for a long time. Yes. And, you know, he's one of our most uh, renowned um, reggae performers, re reggae music performers. And we are so happy that he has agreed to accept our Spirit of Emancipation Award. Because every year we have been giving this to a reggae artist who has used the music to spread positive conscious messages so we have selected Marlon and we are happy that he gracefully um, agreed to receive the award so that happens on Saturday mm -hmm. and then Sunday we which is we call family day so for Sundays when you come especially I mean we come every day because you know we have a food court that's open every day from 10 to 10 so if you want to eat there for for the emancipation week you can come but on Sunday we try to specially highlight as much as we can authentic African food and of course um, some of our local retentions local, yeah, cuisine. with respect to mm -hmm. food yeah but we try to when we say retentions we want to that African retention yes. of food and we have this so we have the family day and then the youth normally have a the a steel band concert as well so which would be with the junior bands that would normally be part of the panorama and but we are mixing them with the drumming so we can yeah. have pan and drumming you know all together from about um the drumology Yes, yes drumology, drumology with the pan. With the pan. Yes, beautiful. Mm, with a twist. Know? Yes, yes, very nice. Yes. And then we have jazz at six. Beautiful. Yeah, we call it jazz at sunset with Kay Allen. And you know, mm. Kay has been really making the, making her name very making recently. Strides. She's been here, there, and everywhere performing. So we are happy that she has agreed to be with us. And Saturday night, we have the reggae concert. Right. Yes, featuring Marlon. And then we go to Monday now. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this, this is jam packed yes, activities. Know? So wow. Monday, yes, on Monday, we would have our rhythm and voices in the afternoon, and we have our Pan African Spectacular. Right. And our Pan African Spectacular is going to feature uh, Pan Panamanian soloists, and courtesy of the Republic of Panama, we are going to have Adi Soga, who is a young. Um, Afrobeat artist, mm -hmm. and of course our own free talk collective. You know, you I can't get up. better than that. Let me tell you this, eh? <laughs> Let me tell all of this, yes. eh? I am so proud of free, free talk free collective. Talk, I'm telling you, um, Amazing. Lou Lyons. I, if he's yes. listening, he he was my law law lecturer in okay. the Beckles. And let me tell you something, humble, yes. humble person. Yes. Mohammed came in Mohammed, a few sweetheart. times, and he was um. Tutor me in uh, uh, in drama, 
Yes. So the two of them, yeah, when I tell you, souls. beautiful Human souls, beings, yes. beautiful yes. souls, such humble people. Humble, I, I show, I show if you ask Lulu, I say, oh, who Naka? I used to give him thunder in law school. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but um, yes. Yeah, so yeah, you have yeah, so you have a very good contention. Bringing the concert part of the the events over the five mm -hmm. days to an end so we will be closing with our own feature on what's a fully what's of a course fully, our yes. amazing Af west african dancers they would be on the show as well and then we go to emancipation day you know <sighs> this is all building up to this amazing day if you have never been out on emancipation day you're missing a very special especially experience. the morning and experience. the closing yes. yeah so we start emancipation day at 4 a.m with at also spaniard we go there to do libation to our ancestors and mm. we have chosen also spaniard because of its own of its history um and then we move from there to it's a mini procession because many people come out for the 4 a.m yes. whoever is there we walk, we, we, we process, we do have a procession down. We stop at the Yoruba village and we do libation there as well. And then we go to the treasury building for the performance of Freedom Morning Come. Yes. The play by N2 Pearl Springer. So that's going to happen this year. It did not happen last year, but we're having it this year. And that's between 6 to 7. Well, after from the 4 a.m., then yes. from 6 to 7 is the play. And then at 8, 8 a.m. is the formal ceremony that precedes the Kambuli. Mm. Yes, and we are hoping, and the plan is to have the king that will be his his first, let us say, really public, public. appearance. Mm -hmm. um, if he does not come to the village, we are hoping that he may be able to pass by the village on the Saturday, the Pan Nine Saturday, but we are not, based on the time he may come in, we are not certain. But for sure, he will be with us on Emancipation Day. I think it's the highlight of his uh, visit. So he is going to join us on, on the morning. Um, and you know that's the morning you would get a, a little quicker dress from the prime minister we pour libation etc yeah. and then and from our line minister and then we proceed with the procession we go of course all the way to up to come back up to the savannah and the the king will also be joining us for a formal part of that afternoon at 2 p.m where he would receive our organization's highest award, the Henry wow. Sylvester Award of Excellence, and he is going to speak to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And you know the Savannah is going to be packed Part to capacity, to capacity. From side to side. Tons of thousands of people are going to be in that village and have an opportunity to hear from one of our own royals, you know, because we tend not to see or understand that as African people, royalty is part of our, our heritage. heritage. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, it's part of the world's heritage. Mm -hmm. You know, when we think of royalty, we always thought of the Queen of England, the Queen of this, of, of European kings and queens. And they never taught us. Yes. Or make us exposed know us, us to, our, um, to, to the fact that mm -hmm. we also, royalty is part of our ancestry. And they have very, you know, all the special protocols that surround them and so on, you know. And, of course, he's the king of the Ashanti kingdom from yes. a whole coast, so you know how it is. And, therefore, we are very, very proud to have this opportunity to share this royal experience with our young people in particular so that they can see, oh, Africa is not just what it is portrayed to be. Mrs. But Wadada, we are going for sure. a break, and when we come no back, problem. we are going to talk more about emancipation. Yes, of <laughs> All right, Trinidad and Tobago, we are back alongside the beautiful Mrs. Wadada, the active executive chair of the Emancipation <laughs> Support yes. Committee. She says she do rest is every day. <laughs> But um, we were talking again um, off air, and I wanted you to let people know, because I would know for myself, yes. um, a lot of people think that the Emancipation Support Committee is this billion dollar <laughs> entity, cover paid by the government, yes. Yes. and that you all have this working set of money, but they yes. don't know 
the struggles yes. that you all go through yes. in order to have this. And you said it starts from May. That's right. Yep. Starts That's from right. May and ends in August. That's right. And they don't know the struggles right. that you all try to get the funding yes. in order to bring this to us, uh, the yes. black people, and to people of Trinidad and Tobago. So tell us a little bit more about that. I, I want to start that conversation by thanking our chairman, Kafa Campbell, All right. and the Jasu Omowali, who are the first chairman of this organization, and all of those first foundation members for their determination mm -hmm. to ensure that August 1st is celebrated as Emancipation Day in Trinidad and Tobago, no matter what. And regardless of what it took, regardless of what personal sacrifices it mm. took, it had to happen. Right. And therefore, those of us coming down and learning from them that is never said die when it comes to this festival, have learned to press forward, push ahead, regardless of what we are seeing. And we say thanks to the ancestors. I think they always mm. see us through. So we yes. know from our own experience, because I am a spiritual person, that we cannot do that without their help you see because people's one people think that we are a government organization the emancipation support committee is an independent non-government organization hmm. it does not receive any what you would call it subvention from the organization from the government mm -hmm. every year we write a proposal to the ministry whichever is our line ministry and we seek Assistance. financial Assistance. support mm -hmm. to have the festival we never know exactly how much money we will get right. yes we have never got more than three million dollars i know people have i want to make it very clear from the government to host emancipation yes at present we are uh, we, 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 if we put the agencies together from our line ministry we have we are receiving 1.4 million dollars and then we would get some additional funds maybe from Trinidad tourism limited we have tried um like we try to go to sports and culture we try to get sponsors so that we can make it up yeah our festival starts on may 25th when we launch the festival following the launch of the festival there is a drum festival Yes, the Yoruba Village Drum right. Festival. We have the fashion show. That from that is one of the events that that, uh, that we charge people to attend. And but I mean, it has not broken even as yet because the cost of doing the kind of fashion show that we have, it, we 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 be just sort of not covering the full cost as yet to say, well, it even to still get some additional income. Right. Right. Then we have the um. Our lecture series um this is online for the last few years and then we move into the village right yes so the village that we set up is a village as you say and people's people people who have come it's a massive space yes it is yes you know and uh, this year we have 180 more than 180 entrepreneurs in that space beautiful you know and therefore, to us, that is wonderful because we are giving this opportunity. But for them to be successful, people have to come to the village and, and support, support them. Mm -hmm. Right? These are some of our micro entrepreneurs who have invested into this space and, and, and trying to, to have these beautiful niche products. Beautiful. Anyone who has been to our village, the standard of the produce is extremely high. People, you know, the way the entrepreneurs present their boots, and this year is going to be even better because we, as I said, we are using a different type of infrastructure. So I think persons don't seem to appreciate the cost of doing these things. And therefore, so if they hear the must be said, we sort of get a million dollars. They don't, they, they, for us, it sounds like a lot of money. But if you understand, for example, what government will do with a million dollars and what we might be expected to do with a million dollars, then you would know. So what makes our village possible, besides I said our present the blessings of our ancestors, is the cooperation of the service providers. Hmm. Everybody, whether it be 
the persons who are giving us tents, whether it be our electrical people, whether it be because we have to get electricity, you have to have stage, you have to have lighting, you have to have um, plumbing. You, you understand? Right, people true. don't remember all of these little things. You have to have videography, you have to have photography, you have to have to pay all your artists, and you see the number of shows. And then it will cause behind the scenes. Exactly. Yes. This mm -hmm. is over hundreds of above hundreds of artists. And if and if you know any artists, one of the things that we have made a practice, once you perform for the Emancipation Support Committee, at the end of your performance you get paid. Hmm. And you have never heard any artist come and say, why are we, we performing to? Service providers may have to wait. And that's why I am saying we are so appreciative. And I want them to know how well, how much we appreciate their understanding the value of this festival and willing to work with us. Even the artists are willing to say, well, okay, this is not my top price, but because I understand the value of this festival, we will work with you. Hmm. Our organization is not a, it's a non-profit organization. We don't do this to make profit. Whatever income we earn, it is really to maintain the running of the organization because our organization is running. We have an office that mm -hmm. we go to work every day. Yes. Yeah, no, it's not a jump up, but it's emancipation time. A seasonal thing. Yeah, it's no, not a right? seasonal After thing. It's a festival. We are going into yes. a national African history quiz for secondary schools. Wow. And a national spoken word competition for primary schools. We already mm. had the regional spoken word earlier in the year. So we work all the time. And we have community mobilization meetings once a week. We have a history caravan that we take to schools. We do exhibits for schools, speak, you know, and different companies all around emancipation time. This person wants you to come. So we have been in the work of raising the consciousness of our people. And if people will notice, we have a, we have attached some watchwords to our logo, reconnection, hmm. transformation, and empowerment, because we think it is extremely important for us to reconnect with our history. True. If we don't reconnect with our history and our past, then we are not reconnecting with ourselves. Hmm. So we will always be like persons in a strange land. You know, they say by the rivers, of, how can we sing the, uh, the Alpha song in a strange land? We will always never feel that we belong. True. That's so true. Because yeah. we don't know who we are. Yes. And therefore, you are just accepting who people say you are and how they perceive you. You internalize that as your being. Yes. And then, of course, you respond a particular way and therefore we have to look that's why we have to look at the, even when we think about our youth some of them who are becoming so much involved in crime what is going on in their mental and emotional space hmm. that sort of encourages or makes that kind of response to 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 to, to their situations uh, so violent it's, it's a mm. very very serious issue and when we are in a society and uh, we go to our prisons and we see more than 75 percent of the people are people who look like us yeah it's a problem it's a problem and what is the problem it's they're not just sad. A of worthless people why what has happened what is happening with them and i think we need to start and we first to care about them so that the rest of the society to care about them. Yes. But sometimes we are the first to, to just cast aside your what list is a no good or whatever. Hmm. So I'm saying, so reconnection with ourselves is very critical to our own self-healing. True. You know, to our, to, 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 to our own empowerment. And self-development. Exactly. And that mm -hmm. is how the society will be transformed. True. Because it's people who make a society. Yes. You know, and not every people all the powers that we don't understand that and therefore their decisions are not necessarily made towards that end yes so we have to understand it and try to do it for ourselves and True. that's what the emancipation support committee is about people get upset oh we're not out there talking about this and we're not out there talking about that and as i tell people talk just brings more talk True. and argument and sometimes to me senseless conversation if we have to say something, it yes. must mean yes. something, and I like to do things. Yes. So I want when they come to this year, for example, our theme is creating opportunities to achieve our full potential. Mm -hmm. And I want when people walk into our village, they would see that we have created another opportunity for 
large numbers of artists and entrepreneurs to fulfill their full potential. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. We educate, we um, provide opportunity, we try to empower, and we also want us to rise. Uh, yes? yes, spiritually, emotionally, we have to heal yes. and become the the true African being, but we that have to understand are, yes, what that yes. is mm -hmm. first, you know, so that we can strive towards being that. Yes. All right. So thank <laughs> you very, very, very much, yes. Mrs. Wadada. Yes, um, Zakia is fine. Um, Zak oh, yes. yes. Of course, I get first name basis. Of course. <laughs> um, do you want to take this call before we end okay, um, sure, sure. Before yes. we end off? No Hello, good afternoon. Good day, good day, beloved. Good day, nice program. Thank you. Nice program. Um, I would like to suggest, though, however, that um, you have a lot of listenership on this 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 um, station, and on morning sometimes, you know, either an African song, either um, history. There are a lot of history out there. Yes. The Atlantic, the Atlantic, the Arab. The Arab Arabian and slave trade. So, you see, we need to influence our people. True. And, and we are not present. We are not saying that the National Journal Action has to be everywhere, but there I must be some presence that we know, listen, we have a people that is rooting for us, not just invisible, but somewhat visible at times. And, yes. and I'm suggesting on mornings at least i was going to run a program at least for an hour right and um just on african history african traditions you have other people they have their programming i'm not against that but we seem to have a void when it comes we mix it up we mix it up True. we need to stop mixing it up have one hour at least half an hour at least yes dedicated the African people in terms of music, in terms of food, in terms of history, more so, I'm going to end here, more so, that Arabian um, slave trade and that Atlantic slave trade. And you, you have the um, Pan-African um, Committee has a lot of resource, right? You can go on YouTube, you see them promoting and, and educate, trying to educate. I think the National Journal Action, call on your own people. Call on your own people to make a contribution of this $20. If it's it um, $100, right? But too often, we, we, we're just looking to other people to help us. We have to help ourselves. We have to pull ourselves up by, the, by the, uh, our straps, bootstrap, and help ourselves. And if we help ourselves, I think we will appreciate more the outcome of what we have helped ourselves to achieve. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kola. So, um, you wanted to make a Yes, correction? no, I just wanted to say that um, the, the organized, I represent the Emancipation Support Committee, not our, um, not, not the National Joint Action Committee. And I agree with you, you know, so, like, for example, at our village, you can come in without paying before 3 o'clock. And we ask people to make a contribution again because of the circumstance we would have spoken before of $40. And you would be surprised in spite of the fact that that's not just a contribution, but it's a contribution for which you are still receiving. receiving yes. People, sometimes people stop at the date and quarrel and make a fuss and, you know. So we, it's, 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 it's about raising the consciousness. You see, people expect us to behave in a particular way. But not all of us have healed. Not all of us have been able to transform or to even emerge out of the enslavement experience because we do not, for example, I always say we were enslaved for 400 to 500 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was legal. It was the system. It was the norm. 
Hmm. And it is just 185 years, which is less than half the time that we have been free. And therefore, this process of emancipation, how were we freed? Okay, today you are slave and considered non-human in a society where slavery was legal and so for 400 years and tomorrow they said you're free. Okay, what happens to that human being? Yes. You know, we have to try sometimes to put ourselves in the position of our ancestors. And sometimes it is not, it is even inconceivable for yes, us. Yes, yes. But it is not an easy experience that our people have been for centuries. Hmm. And therefore, everyone is not going to be able to vibrate at the same level that we would like. So we say, why don't we do this? Why? Because we are not there yet. Remember, even during the enslavement process, you had people who were like, listen to me, I just want to live. Yeah. So if I have to humble myself and just be a slave, I want to live. It have those that saying, what I going and treat the master like if he is king himself because I want some favors. This is human nature. This yeah. is human beings reacting in a situation. Yeah. So I am. I would even sometimes betray my brothers with the master because I I, I want something and I yeah. feel that's the only way to get it. But you are acting within a system that has been imposed on you, and you are trying to how do I navigate this particular reality where I am now in a space where I am being considered a commodity, you know, and those kinds of things, and therefore. But we have Kunta Kintes. I always try to use this word Kunta Kinte to talk about our warriors. I'm assuming that all of our young people know who Kunta Kinte is. Oh, I know that they yeah. don't. But he was a warrior. Yes. And there have always been warriors. So we have always had warriors. We have always had those who may have had to be compliant. It had always had those who just wanted to survive and would have done anything because it was a human beings reacting in a particular space. But, but as, as you as you as you, you, you as you said that right to to, to conclude yes. Yes. and it is sad. What 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 you just explained there? It is like history repeating itself. Yes, and exactly. we are free right now. And we still have some and of those same have some categories of, of human with beings. The same traits. Exactly. So that is the question I ask. Are yes. we really yes. free? Yeah, but you see, it's a process. Because mm. we are we, some of us don't even know what are we being, where are we heading. Yes. What does this freedom mean to each of us? So yes. freedom to you just means I do not no longer have chains on my head and my hands. A freedom for someone may mean, wow, I have the opportunity to find out who I am and to mm. be that person. To some people, they don't want to go there. Yeah. You understand? To some people, freedom is just this um, thing to really, as you say, fulfill my full aspect as an African being. Yes. It is going to mean different things to different people because different human beings vibrate at different levels and they respond to circumstances yes. differently. Yes. And we are all human beings. All right. You know? Yes. Yes. Indeed. Thank yes. you again, Sakia. It was lovely having you. Yes. I want to have you on the show again. Yes, that's good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. We, I appreciate it. It was yes. a wonderful, I wouldn't call it an interview, but it was a good conversation. Rapport. It was a yes. good um, yes. conversation. Um, thank you very, very much on coming, letting us know what is in store for yes. the Emancipation um, yes. Support Committee. They have in store for us in Trinidad and that's Tobago right. for the upcoming festivities and the opening is on Friday. Yes. So we have more um, more, more people, people coming come in, in for the rest yes. of the week yes. and you know they will be giving us more information in terms of in with different areas yes. of uh, Emancipation Day. Yes. Thank you very much on behalf yes, of the yes, Street 919 yes. FM and uh, yes. you know hope to see yes. you soon. Well, I just want to say thank you and I really want to extend an uh, invitation to all of you. Please come to the village. Yes. Please come enjoy our shows, support our artists and remember Remember that the celebration in Trinidad and Tobago is the greatest celebration of Africa outside of Africa. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yes. Much appreciated. Okay, bye. All right. The time to build is upon us. We have at last achieved our political emancipation. The Street 919 FM presents liberation and its evolution. Focusing on putting our hands to the plow, creating a better future as we unite and continue to fight for freedom and equality we must continue to evolve from strength to strength in the spirit of love integrity and harmony happy emancipation 
TNT. From the street, 919 FM.